Welcome to part 5 in our tutorial series on how to develop a Contras like game with free Visual Engine G Develop. This video should have included both the camera movement and the first installment of enemies. But, due to some problems we had with some of the features that were used and were not actually working as expected, we have decided to divide this part 5 into two subparts, A and B. Part A will focus on the camera movement, specifically for the way we have developed the game. Part B, will focus, on the enemies and enemies artificial intelligence as to make them shoot the player on sight. But first, let's check what we have done in the previous video. So, if you remember, we were able to shoot in all the directions at a certain fire rate, with bullets and special effects associated with the firing of the bullets, like a muzzle flash and bullet trails. In order to be able to build the Contra look and feel, we need the camera to follow the player through the level. Supposedly, Making a camera following an object in G-Develop is somewhat easy. You can make it with two different ways. The first one, is to tell the camera to modify its position to match the ones of the objects that we are interested in following. The second method is somewhat more complex, and implies to make a linear interpolation or lerp, between the current position of the camera, and the target position based on the new position of the object being followed. Let's implement the second option. Let's go to the Events Manager, and in the same event where we are making the sprites of the player and gun to take the positions of the physic player, let's add a new action. Search for the camera, and then in the position fields X and Y, add the function lerp followed by the position X and Y of the camera, returned by the function camera X and camera. After this, we need to tell which coordinates to follow and we will use the transform positions of physic player. Finally, the system will expect us to specify a timer interval where to apply the interpolation between the positions. In this case we will start with 0.1. Let's copy the event and paste it again and customize the same information for the Y elements of the camera. Once finished, we should have the camera following our character through the level. Let's start it. As soon, as the game starts, we can see that the camera is actually not moving. After a couple of crazy attempts and trying to read documentation on the internet, plus trying it with a much simpler version of the game, we have discovered that the problem is associated with the layers that we have defined in the previous video. For some unknown reason, G-Develop is not able to manage correctly movement across different different layers in the game. What we did, was to move all the objects in the game to the game layer. And then in all the functions, where we were actually required to put the name of the layer, fill it in with the layer where we want the effects to be used. So, in this case game. As soon as the change is finished, you can see that now with the camera following the player with a slow pace, that we will address later on the level. Let's try to see the overall feel of what we currently have with the original game as to start placing the platforms in the right places and make sure that we are implementing the correct behavior. We have downloaded a partial map of the Contras level map, and we are going to map it in G-Develop sprite that will be placed on the background of the game. The purpose is solely to place the platforms and make a test of the main behaviors in the game. So, let's create a new sprite. Name it Level Map. Click on the Add Animation button, and in the Explore select the map from Contra. Save and close, and then drag it to the canvas. Size it to have a size compatible with the sizes of the main character and the different asset sizes.
drag the platform's objects to the place where Contra has its platforms. In the prototype, we have initially chosen the ground, but after it, we saw that using the references as soon as possible would make the task easier to replicate accurately their position. The speed for the camera was still too low, so we modified it to 1, which made the movement with animation correct. The camera is following us, and we can jump from platform to platform. We have not yet implemented something that could cover for the water region at the bottom of the screen, so we will generate one for the next cycle. We have a fully shooting project with special effects that starts to look cool. In the next video subpart B, we will start setting the continue with the camera following and some of the first enemies. We hope that you have liked this video. If it has been the case, consider subscribing, giving a like and clicking on the notification button. If you have any question, problem or comment, don't hesitate in putting a comment and we will answer as fast as we could. See you in the next video.